Hey guys, Texas Boy Fishing here today. Um, and I'm going to show you my freshwater tackle bag and what I take when I go bass fishing at the local ponds near my house in Texas. So first off, this is a um, Academy tackle bag. Um, it's everything in it, it weighs about 20 pounds. Um, yeah, it's in the um, real tree camo color. Yeah, let's get right on into the first pack or the first compartment, and that's where I keep my soft plastics. So you probably already saw this from my video last night, but I just this is what I take. First off, I got some Zoom um, better than salt lizard and the bullfrog color. Next, I have some brace tail cutter worms pearl. I have some Berkeley Havoc um, Money Makers, the June Bug color. Next, I have some Big Bite Baits, um, trick, st trick Sticks in the Sexy Shad color. Next, I have some Berkeley Power Bait, um, Fighting Bug, and the Rusty Crawfish. Next, I have some more big white beige trick sticks in the pumpkin seed and churches tip. Very good color. And that's it for, for, and for this first compartment. So today I'm going to have two more videos after this one. And then I'm going to be done for today. And I will start back up tomorrow morning. Next on this compartment right here is my uh, my hooks and stuff. I have some some Berkeley Gulp um, Alive Marinade. It's in the shed. Got some VMC Wacky Weedless Jigs. Got some Trouble Hooks. Got some Bullet Weights. Got Ned Rig Jig Heads. I have some must had Big Mouth Light Wire Bass Hooks. I got a Fast Niche Clip. I got some Power Shot Hooks by VMC. I got two, um, what are they called? Mustad Big Mouth Light Wire Hooks. And then some Baitmate Fish Attractant. Now, moving on to the other one, the other side. Here, I have two spools of line. One is a uh, Berkeley trailing 14-pound um, monofilling, and then the other one is 12 um, vicious fishing 12-pound mon monofilling, and then I have my multi-tool. I will be right back. I have to do something, but, um, so, hold on. Alright, sorry about that. I had to, um, go, um, check for something. But next, we are going to start with my main compartments. Oh, and I have these, um, some Reaction Strikes, um, Saltwater Series. Saltwater Series, Reaction Strike number one, Swim Baits. And the Blue Runner. I don't... I don't know if they're salt water or not, but whatever. Um, so now we're going to start <laughs> with these soft plastics. So, these are all my KVD um, uh, plastics. I have some rodent in the California crawl. More rodents in the California crawl. Um, the rodent in the Okeechobee crawl. Uh, got the caffeine shed and the pearl. And these are not all my KVDs. I still have like um, extra soft plastics in like um, carrying cases or not carrying cases, but little like um, 
binders, warm binders, and then we have some Okachos in the watermelon, red and black. Next we have hard baits that I see Bill uh, lipless crankbait. Got a um, hidden baby torpedo and frog. Um, some it's but made by Issue Express. I'm not sure what the name of it is. Um, BD jerk bait. Little popper, um, a Seville jointed jerk bait, and a jitterbug. Uh, we have an old owl. We have an old crankbait. Do not know who it's made by. I have an H2 Express um, print bait that's um, blue um, H2 Express print bait that is watermelon with red flake. Then we have um, a the name is on top of my head but I don't I think it's Baker um Crankbait. This one is um, oh crap. This one is the Berkeley uh, Shad, and then this is the Live Target Bluegill. We have a Seabell jerkbait. It's, um, I think it's tr rainbow trout. I'm not sure what color it is. I got it off the mystery tackle box, but it is white with um, black spots on the top and red on the side, and then chartreuse on the bottom. And then we have a Seabell, um, float belly walker. It looks like a frog. Um, next is another H2O Express um, hard bait, but I it's kind of a popper, but I do not know what it's like, what the name is, but it's in bone color. That was one of the things that stood out for, for me, was it, the color was bone. Next we have a BD crankbait. Um, in perch color. And then a... Um, Forgot what brand it is, but in sexy shad. Ow. That's it for crave baits. Next, we move on to soft plastics. Um, we have some. Uh, Berkeley Havoc Skeet Reese design. Um. I forgot the name of it, but it is in Jumba color. We have some Berkeley Havoc, um, some bush hogs, I think, um, and pearl. It's a good swim bait, too. Some people use it for trailers, but I use it for swim baits. Some, um, what is it called? Rage Tail, it's the Cutter Worms, and the Candy Color. And then just, I don't know what the brand of these are. It came in a little kit that I got at uh, Academy. And it's just a frog that's black and blue. Um, so that's it for this one. And then moving on to my main, 
like small plastic box that I use. It has um, um, what is it called? Some KVD rodents in the um, candy bug color. Some Berkeley Havoc. Um, uh, uh, what is it called? Some Berkeley Havoc pit bosses and green pumpkin. Um, or KVD rodents in the California crawl color. Now we have some um, yum dingers. This is in watermelon and red flake. This one is in just um, pumpkin seed. And then this isn't even um, uh, yum. It's just some knockoff Senko. Never used it. And I just threw it in there. So yeah, um, hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you are new and leave a like and I will see you guys next time.